How do they know if you've been divorced? So if you if you are Amish and you are you get married and you are divorced, everybody's going to know about it because that's one of the downsides of living in a close knit community is everybody knows everybody, and there's a lot of good things that come out of that from everybody helping each other out. But then everybody else knows everybody. Word gets around. If you got divorced in the Amish, everybody would know. You wouldn't be able to get remarried. Now, on the other hand, if, if you're asking if an English person were to join the Amish and had been divorced but would lie about it, I just don't think it would be a good idea to join the Amish on a lie. You know, if you got found out, you'd probably get kicked out. And, uh, you know, so it, it wouldn't really be worth it, in my opinion. But, you know, being Amish is not for everybody. Um, it's not it's not for everybody you know we we don't just welcome everybody you have to conform to a very strict set of rules um, if you want to choose to be Amish and it's not even for everybody that was born Amish like for me I chose to leave um, two of my a couple of my cousins have chosen to leave as well none of my siblings but um, quite a few people that I know that have chosen to leave some of them have gone back some have stayed you know stayed out here but divorce, growing up, divorce wasn't an option you thought about. So when it came to marriage, you really tried to make the right decision. You took your time and you got to know a person and made sure that you liked, you know, who they were before you got married to them because it was a really, really serious thing. So it's just one of those things like it's all about choices. You know, if, if you choose to marry somebody in the Amish, that's that's your one marriage you know what i mean um, now if you're widowed it would be a different story obviously if if uh, god were to choose to take one of the partners away but the same thing if you get married and divorced if you decide to get divorced then you know you have also made a choice that now doesn't allow you to join the amish same with getting a tattoo that's also a choice so tattoos and divorce are two big no-nos that would probably allow you or not allow you to join because of i hope that helps god bless